so I'm down in the creepy scary basement and I don't make too many videos in the creepy scary basement because it seems like my basement is creepy and scary but I do have my laundry downstairs in the basement and I just got these out of the dryer so that's why I'm making a video up here I want you to see some of the cool things I can do with my laundry. So, I have this pile, and of course, you know me, I mixed up the colors. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to fold these, and I'm going to prepare them to be hung. And what I want to show you how to do today is how I can get all these things gathered in one arm and have another free arm to walk up the stairs because my laundry is downstairs and I had to adjust to having my laundry downstairs and making decisions on how I'll get the laundry done since it is downstairs and people who have their laundry downstairs as opposed to the same level in their home that they live on, they have a little more work. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> because you carry these items up and down the stairs. You have to decide how much you're going to carry at a time. You have to be safe going up and down the stairs. My stairs are made from brick. So I know if I fall, it's going to hurt. And it's going to hurt really bad. And who knows, if I fell bad enough, I could even die from the fall. So. I have to be really careful going up and down the stairs, especially holding laundry. And so here you see me folding up the laundry and preparing it to be hung. And this is how I do it. another person's underwear and socks and then a pile of clothes that you're going to hang on a hanger and I really probably need to invest in a laundry table downstairs in my laundry room but I haven't done so yet so I don't have that so I'm going to work around not having it because I don't have Maybe in the future, I won't have enough money for that. Maybe I can find one really cheap at a garage sale or something like that when garage sale season comes back. But it's fixing to get cold, so garage sale season is nowhere to be seen inside. Who wants to do a garage sale out in the cold? Not me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't ever have enough stuff for a garage sale. I don't think I usually just stuff I'm not using, I usually give away to my oldest son, and, or I donate it. I usually don't do garage sales. And it just, that's inviting people onto your property, and I don't know that I want to do that. Maybe the, the consequences that way the benefits for me. Because I don't trust people on my property because people have proven to not be trustworthy. It wasn't just for no reason. Yeah, I would definitely watch out for other people. They'd like to try to trick you, steal from you, 
they, if they, if you can tell they don't have your best interest at heart, you better watch them closely because they're around you for a reason and sometimes it's not always the best reason and oh people get so mad that I tell them you know to watch out for people not expect the best out of people but I promise you when you have a heart where you're going around expecting the best out of people you're gonna get your heart broke I promise if you go around expecting the best out of people and I'm talking from experience. You can only expect the best out of yourself because that's the only thing you can control is yourself. So don't expect anything out of anyone except yourself. And I don't care what anyone's gonna come back and say, I'm telling you through experience. And I wouldn't be saying it if it wasn't a reason. Seriously. So I'm almost ready to show you how I can fit all this in one arm and walk up my stairs by holding onto the rail with this arm. My right arm is my dominant arm. So you want to use your, you have your dominant arm free of clothes if you're going upstairs because you need to be able to save your life. So use your dominant arm. If you decide, if you start to fall, you need to be able to save your life. <laughs> if you're falling downstairs. So all these clothes that are gonna be hung, what I do with those, is I put them around my arm like this. I'm gonna carry them upstairs to the closets and at the closets I'm gonna get the hangers out and hang them on the hangers. Now these towels, I'm going to stack my clothes on top of these towels and then my son's shorts on top of there. And so that everything, I'm just going to pick it up in one little pick up, stick it here, and hold it with my arm. And now I have this entire arm free. So I'm going to hold onto the rail as I go up the stairs. And the rest of my laundry, the whole load of laundry is being held with this other arm. And this arm is free, so I can walk up the stairs now. So my independent living tip of the day is use precaution going up and down the stairs, especially when your laundry is downstairs. So if you like this video, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.